I'm at the local big box store and CO2 is at under 800 ppm, which is acceptable. We're on the aisle with the HVAC filters. I am looking for a HEPA filter up here. I'm going to grab the biggest one. It says true HEPA filtration, which means that it filters out over 99% of particles, including the ones of the size that are hardest to remove. So I'm going to try to cut the filter out of the frame. Uh, I'm sure there are better tools for doing this, but I, I grabbed a chef knife. It's what, what's handy. And I can kind of saw it out along the edge here, like that. I finished cutting it all the way around the frame, and now I'm going to get it out of there. And notice that there's it's pleated, and it's actually held together by these glue strips. And if I, I can carefully pull those apart, like that, and then the next step is we'll carefully pull off the glue strips. I brought the filter into the lab and dropped it off with my PhD student, Jin Pan, who tested it. She cut out two pieces each from three different sections of the filter. The first was pristine parts of the filter, the second was across the creases where the pleats are, and the third was areas under where I had removed the glue strips. She mounted the filter pieces in our filter holders for testing. This diagram shows our experimental setup. Briefly, we generate sodium chloride particles from a nebulizer, and we measure what passes through our samples, A and B, and also through a blank using a scanning mobility particle sizer. Here are the results showing filtration efficiency as a function of particle size from about 40 nanometers up to 1,000 nanometers, or 0.04 microns to 1 micron. Notice that the pristine filter was better than 90% efficient across all particle sizes. Uh, there was some reduction in efficiency for the pieces that were creased and under the glue strip. However, when we took um, two layers, even from under the glue strip where it had been slightly damaged, we have better than 95% efficiency across all particle sizes. Here's the take home message from this demonstration. First, take care in deconstructing the filter to minimize damage to it. Second, a double layer of deconstructed HEPA filter material is greater than 95% efficient at all particle sizes, but you still need to ensure an excellent fit of your mask, and the filter material should span the entire area of your mask. Third, don't wash the filter because doing so can degrade performance, instead replace it. And finally, a major manufacturer does not recommend using these filters to make masks, but I think it's a good way to obtain high quality filter material for a mask. To my knowledge, these HEPA filters are not made of fiberglass. I believe they're made of a polypropylene or some other synthetic material.